riding a worm sequence. I imagine mm-hmm. everybody wants to talk about this in yeah. some way, but I it, it's a scene where I'm like, man, there's no way the main character is about to get killed off early in the film, mm-hmm. but it feels so real and you're so yeah. immersed in it. Yeah. It's like, actually, maybe. Yeah. So I'd love to hear about the, like, how did you guys kind of walk that line, push it up to that line, and were you getting blasted with sand the whole time? I was getting blasted with sand the whole time with a huge industrial fan. I was uh, right in my face, but... uh. Yeah, I love how you put it. I think it's important that the stakes feel high there. I think they are sincerely high. Um, uh, even like Reverend uh, Mother Mohayam would say, uh, there's the potential that he's the one. It's not a definite thing. He still has so much to learn. As she says in the first movie, that's, a, that's why I love this introduction of Fade Routh's character, because we see it's not a predestined, this is, it's not Neo from the Matrix, you know. It's, uh, uh, there's real uh, mortal possibility here. Um, so uh, I love shooting it and it, they, they built a little slab of the worm, of the actual worm, and the rest was superimposed, and it was insane, yeah. And, and controllably, uncontrollably violent, you know, the rig. And then I guess you're yeah. finding sand in every part of your body for the Yeah, rest. afterwards. Honestly, yeah, because we've been getting asked about that today. It was, yeah, there's more sand from that than working in the desert for two, three months. 